depend on for to bring me laughter. Who here has seen the Dick Van Dyke show? Raise your hand. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, here's a little trivia question. Whoever wins gets a pair of Blanchett socks. Play on the, the sock little thing there. Um, all right. The main character, Rob Petrie, originally played by Dick Van Dyke. Uh, what is his, his occupation in the show? Comedy writer. I heard that. Yes, who is that? Oh, good. There we go. Woo! Oh! Yeah! Thank you! <laughs> Great job. Yay! Um, so, <laughs> yes, The Dick Van Dyke Show was 1959. It came out. It's a comedy, and uh, there was a comedy show within a comedy show that Rob Petrie writes for. And his wife, Laura Petrie, was played by Mary Tyler Moore. I get to be playing Laura Petrie tonight. I'm so thrilled to be playing one of my idols. She was a revolutionary actress in that time, uh, representing women in slacks, pants, which I tried to honor in my costume. And um, it's a comedy, so be sure to laugh, you know? Feel free to let it all out. If there was any moment in the other shows that you weren't sure if it was the right time to laugh, any time's the right time this time. So <laughs> let it all out, you got it. <laughs> Uh, a couple thank yous before we get started. Thank my parents for all their support um, and uh, the set pieces and everything. And for my teachers, Corey and Taryn, to all my actors, uh, to my stage manager, and to my hairdresser, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Without further ado, I give you the last episode of the Dick Van Dyke Show, The Sock. <laughs> Van Dyke Show, starring Josephine Partridge as Laura Petrie, Kate Paw as Rob Petrie, <laughs> Laura Lovingwell as Jerry Helper, and Jonah Branstad as Dr. Ted. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly stopped and and these medics and an ambulance come driving by us echoing all through the tunnel Wee -woo! <laughs> an ambulance was it yeah and a fire truck and a whole caboodle of cop cars <laughs> i'm surprised you couldn't hear all the rockets <laughs> what was the emergency who were they taking away was it you what was wrong with you come on rob what happened to you tell me rob <laughs> oh, Rob! <laughs> Laura, did you forget something? Oh, goodness, it's only coffee grounds. I'm sorry, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, where's today's paper? Isn't that today's? No, but I think this. Is. Oh, Laura, you and your arts and crafts. Let's 
What's the matter? Why are you cleaning up so much? Well, I... I think someone's coming today. You think someone's coming? Mm-hmm. What? Do you smell them coming down the street? Do you have a sixth sense I don't know about? Why don't you check the calendar? Oh! That would be a good idea. All right. What new decoration did you make this time? <laughs> Isn't it pretty? <laughs> mm. It looks so good right over here. Oh, over here. Well, how are we supposed to know who's coming today? If someone's coming today. What about that little planner notebook I made you? Did you write in that? No. Jerry unfolded it to see how the Yankees did. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see who's coming. Doctor! What? What happened? Are you okay? No, no. Dr. Ted is coming by today. Dr. Ted? You know, mainly to visit as a friend, but I told him about that thing you got. The thing? My thing? Yeah, on your back. <laughs> that stopped hurting weeks ago. I know, it's just we wanted to make plans last month, but we're busy and just got pushed out. Uh-huh. And it's always good to make sure you're healthy. You just never know. Something may be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so your mother's doing well? What is that supposed to mean? It seems like every time you talk to your mother, she gets you all concerned about health issues. Oh, that is not true. And yet she's doing fine. She called this morning. She sends her regards. Aha! It is true. Like that time three years ago, back at Lake Sissy Manunu, we would have had a nice, relaxing vacation. If it wasn't for your mother, who got you all worried about killer mosquitoes. <laughs> you know, I don't have one memory from that place that doesn't include stinky bug repellent and that crazy mosquito hat you made me wear. Oh, come on, Rob. I think you look cute in that hat. And all this cleaning up is for Dr. Ted? He's not examining our house, too, is he? No, no. He's a classy man. That's all. Okay. Well, why don't you get changed out of your pajamas? I will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This isn't classy enough for you. Oh, come on, Rob. He'll be here any minute. All right. But if you really want some class, get some real flowers for that vase. And please, unfold today's paper before anybody spoils the news for me. Good thinking. I'll be right back with some flowers. Go change. Yeah, yeah. Me, Jerry. Sorry, Rob. It was a good game, though. I almost got tickets. Hey, maybe we can go and see the next one. They're playing the Red Sox. <laughs> hey, speaking of socks, I know this is going to sound strange, but I have one of my favorite socks stuck behind a dresser drawer. I've tried to get it out, but it's really stuck. I, I know you're good with that stuff. Would, would you mind? Sure, why not? Lead the way. Thanks, Jerry. We gotta hurry. The doctor's coming soon.
<laughs> oh, hi, Mom. Yes, thank you for the new craft paper. Oh? I'm sure Rob would love some paper mache clogs. <laughs> Rob, he's fine. Yes, Dr. Ted just got here. No, not yet. Yes, I had him increase his life insurance. No, he isn't. I'm sure he's perfectly healthy, Mom. Really? <laughs> okay. I will. We love you, too. Goodbye, Mom. Nice setup you got here, Rob. Thanks. Say, where was this picture taken? What picture? This one of you wearing one of the ugliest hats I've ever seen? <sighs> Don't get me started. Okay. So, where is it? Well, it's a little embarrassing, but right back there, you see it? Oh, that? That's nothing. Really? Because if you squeeze too hard, it hurts to... Oh, yeah? Ow! Here's a flashlight. Jeez, you could really clean up a bit more. Come on, what do you think? That fuzzy black thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, how long has it been there? Well, I only noticed it a couple of days ago, but it might have been there for weeks at least. Definitely looks like it. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. I don't know. This is more serious than I thought. Have you asked Laura? She's helped in the past, but not with this one. I think she should. No, no. It's not that bad. <laughs> All right. Almost got it. Oh, it smells. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know what kind of mold that is, but it could be dead. You've heard those horror stories where... It's not that bad. Oh, it is. Laura would agree. Did you get it yet? Give me a minute. This isn't my first time, you know. That's why I asked you. Oh, definitely feel it now. <laughs> yep, just as I suspected. What? You've got a real problem, Rob. What is it? <laughs> See that? It's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> You're right about that. Jeez, you weren't kidding about that smell. That's lethal, deadly. Well, thanks anyways. I guess it's no use anymore. I'm sorry for your loss, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob! What? What happened, honey? What's that? What's Jerry doing here? Is the doctor in there? See? I told you she'd agree with me. A doctor should check out that mold. What? No, Laura, I got that sock I've been missing for a while, see? You're okay? That, that thing on your back, is it serious? Oh, uh, what thing on your back? <laughs> I'm fine, Laura, and I wish you'd stop worrying about that. What thing on your back? <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. I, I just, I love you, Rob. I, I love you too, Laura. What thing on your back? <laughs> hi, Doc. Oh, hi, Doc. Hi, Doc. <laughs> well, Doc, this you'll survive. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> As for that sock you're holding, ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs>